G'day guys, it's Remy here from Manadrive. Now you've got your new 100 amp AC charger. We're gonna take you through the particular settings for the programming of a lithium and an AGM battery with this guy today. Let's jump in guys, show you what it's all about. All right guys, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna jump straight into the lithium settings on this particular charger. We're also gonna do the AGM settings to give you a difference between the two and how we set those two. If you're interested in the AGM settings, jump to about halfway through. So whenever you're looking to set up any of our AC chargers, the best option to do it with is to make sure that it's connected up to the battery that you're gonna be charging and also plugged into mains power. This will ensure that the charger stays turned on for the entire duration of the time that you're trying to program the particular charger. So jumping right in guys, we're currently set on our flooded settings up here. Now we're connected to a lithium battery. So what I'm gonna do is press and hold down my menu button here till our top screen starts to flash with our menu options. Now to get to lithium, I'm gonna press the select button on the right hand side here into our lithium settings and press the set button to confirm that selection. Straight away, we get our absorption voltage coming up. So it's currently set at 14.2. I'm gonna set that a little bit higher for the particular battery that I'm trying to charge by pressing the select button on the right hand side and I'm gonna set, press the set button to confirm that. Now our bulk voltage with this particular charger comes second. So the bulk voltage is actually showing us at 0.2, which means that our bulk for this particular charger will actually be set at 0.2 of a volt lower than what our absorption settings are. We can also set that to 0 0.4, 0 0.6, or at the exact same as what our absorption settings are. And you do that by pressing the select button to cycle through the menu. And when you're happy with your selection at 0.2, I'm gonna press the set to confirm that one. Our float voltage is coming up at 13.5. Again, we can adjust this, but for this particular battery, I'm very happy with 13.5, so I'm gonna press the set button. Our charge rate, we're currently showing 100 amps. There are options here. We can take this down to 20, 40, 60, and all the way up to 100. Again, we're gonna press the set button there to confirm that setting. And now the bulk amps. So with the bulk amps of this particular charger, we have a couple of options. We can set it to halve its maximum output, 0.75 of its maximum output or max, meaning that it will continuously charge at its maximum output all the time. This setting is really beneficial if you're connecting this to what would be considered a slightly smaller battery bank. So say 400 amp hours of lithium rather than connecting it to say 600 or 900. I may want to dial this down just to be a little bit more gentle to my batteries as I'm trying to charge them up to full. Once I'm happy with my selection again, I'm going to hit the set button there to confirm that one. As always, we've got our load settings in here for our termination and supporting the load of the particular items that are in the van or whatever we've got this one hooked up to. In this particular case, we're gonna say that it's hooked up to a caravan. So if I had it at four amps, it's not going to be enough to support the full load of that van. Eight, it's probably getting a little bit closer to the number, but I know that I've got a compressor fridge and a few larger loads. So I'm gonna press the select button again to get to 12. 12 is where I wanna be. I'm gonna press my set button and confirm that one there. We've also got the options of our modes, meaning our, we can change it to a two mode charger, which means that it will do our bulk and absorption with no float, or we can have it with a three stage, meaning that we bring the float into play, which is what we want for this particular setting because the van will likely stay on storage or be at caravan parks and whatnot. So a three mode is correct. We're gonna press and set that one there. And just once we get through all that, we're gonna press the menu button to pull out and we're all good to go. The charger's set up for lithium and ready to charge. Okay guys, now that we're done with our lithium settings, we're gonna show you how to change this charger into AGM. So straight away, we're gonna press and hold down our menu button up the top here, wait for that top screen to start to flash. We're gonna press our select button to cycle past program and gel into our AGM settings. We're gonna press our set button to confirm that one. Straight away, it pops up and shows us the output of the charger at 100 amps. The 100 amp charger and the settings for this one, it's probably gonna be a little bit too high for the battery bank that we've got. So we're actually gonna press the select button here. 20 is a little bit too low, 40 is probably still a little bit too low, but 60 is a nice number. I'm happy with that for this particular battery bank. So I'm gonna press the set button to confirm that one. Our termination and load for the particular application that we're putting this one into, it's gonna be quite high because we've got compressor fridges and the likes in the caravan. So we're gonna press set on the 12 because we want it to be nice and high to help those loads and termination. Now we've also got our mode settings here. So we've got our two mode and our three mode. This particular application, three mode is gonna be the one that we need and we've got our temperature compensation. In this particular case, we're gonna leave that one at normal because I've connected up our, our temperature compensation probe and that one's down at the battery bank. So I'm gonna press set to confirm that one. Now, that's everything you need to do for AGM settings in this particular charger. It's extremely similar to our existing range of AC chargers. Nothing really changed in that respect. 
All right, guys, that's it for programming today. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope this has helped you set up your new 100 amp AC charger. If you guys have got any questions, make sure you shoot a message through to our support team. We're always happy to help you guys out. If you've liked this video, drop us a like, subscribe. We've always got new videos coming out and always drop us a comment for the next lot of videos you guys want to see. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.